totally could have this cup of coffee sitting in my little plant corner <laughs> um, and pretend like that's what I actually do. But to be honest, on these kind of days, it is definitely hard to get me out of the bed, especially because it is cold outside here in Charleston. So welcome to my little attic bed corner. I really love watching these kinds of like videos on YouTube and honestly they kind of give me like some like sense of like secondhand productivity so I hope I can provide that for you guys but I kind of realized you can only like rewatch where I live Jenny's uh, Sunday reset video so many times until you actually have to do it yourself. So I decided to kind of make a list of things that I need to get done today and kind of setting up a schedule for the week and then the rest of it is kind of just dropping off some donations and maybe running to the grocery store and grabbing a couple things. I'm also going to show you guys, if you saw on my Instagram, um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely go do that. I have a lot of kind of lifestyle, wellness, just very chill, chill college student related vibes, I think is a good way to put my Instagram. I also put on my Instagram story um, something about my Notion planner and a lot of you had questions about my Notion and so I kind of wanted to show you guys how I set up the week um, and I hope that's okay with you. But yeah, I'm just gonna kind of have this cup of coffee probably get on YouTube for a little bit. This is kind of my, my waking up time. Glad you guys decided to take the time, sit down and watch me be productive and hold me accountable. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna have a cup of coffee. You should do the same. Cheers. Also, as I kind of try to become <laughs> as transparent as possible with you guys about stuff that I feel like is important, um, my skin is freaking out right now and I'm kind of Googling around and my I was on the phone with my cousin last night and he was like, that looks like a rash. Like that doesn't look like acne, like it's not, you're not breaking out. And so I just Googled because I usually, whenever I'm wearing my mask, I'm wearing a cloth mask, but recently I've been doing two masks and I've been doing one disposable under a cloth one, which I've done before, but I've been like re-wearing it a lot and obviously that's not good for your skin. And so I literally, maybe it's just because it was dirty, but also this happened right at the beginning of quarantine and that was when everyone was kind of using those little disposable masks so maybe I'm allergic to them it's like a thing so moral of the story if you're having bad skin issues maybe you don't need to be wearing the the little blue masks maybe you don't need to be wearing the blue ones but wear some cloth ones maybe some silk I know silk is better for your skin
Today's kind of funny because I decided that you guys are old enough, you're old enough, you've, you're of age, to see my vintage mug collection, which lives in here and a cabinet over there. But also part of my reset day is to not only clean the collection out, but clean this pantry out because it is a crazy, absolute mess and it doesn't make me feel good whenever I make my coffee in the morning. And so we're going to do that together. Okay, now I'm gonna show you all of my cool vintage mugs as I put them in the pantry, as I put them back. And then I am just gonna show you like the other ones that I have, like the ones that were like gifts um, that are not vintage, but they're still kind of funny and cool. We're going to start. Oh, well, no, that was, that was stupid. You know what, I'll just show you, I'll just show them to you. Okay, now that I can talk and the thing is like finished, this is like my most important mug. Like this is my absolute favorite. All the other ones were thrifted and the RBG one was a gift, but this was my great grandmother's mug. I was named after her and this was hers. It's from 1979 and I've only seen one other person who has it, which is actually kind of cool, but this is like a really special, silly mug to me. Just about two cats, they're jumping all over each other. Okay, now that we've achieved such a wonderful task as organizing some glassware, let's eat some breakfast, because it is 9.43, I've been up for almost two hours. And I think it's time for a nice little breakfast. Okay guys, so this is kind of a nice little spot to talk to you guys about Notion. This is something that I found through Damon Dominique. Um, and if you guys saw me post that on my Instagram, um, I did post a little bit about like how I use it, but I'm not very much. So I'm just gonna kind of give you like a tour of like what my, my homepage and everything looks like and the way that I organize stuff. So this is my homepage. I do a little just to do today. Um, these are actually from last week. I haven't done it over the weekend. I, I think I'm gonna kind of do that like for the weekends because um, I usually just kind of relax um, unless I work. But this today at a glance is just specific to that day. So this is like last, I don't even know, last week. Um, and I was finishing the thrift with me video that you guys have already seen. So I can just click back and Go down, there's a cute little picture of me, cause you know. And then I have Daily Drive um, just kind of embedded here. Um, you can embed a lot of things. There's so many YouTube tutorials on how to work with Notion, cause Notion is honestly pretty tricky if you don't know what you're doing. Um, but this is the way I set it up. I had one of these little boards. So I have one for academics, and here's my academics page. And each one of these little links actually um, expands into a whole other page. But I do have like weekly homework and classes. So that's my like full class schedule. 
and then the homework is just a to-do list checklist on each day. Um, so that's there and then we can go back and look at noises. I have a YouTube planning page where I also have some inspiration but I have some like video ideas, um, things like that and then mood boards at the bottom. And then I also have my dance team, so like our schedule and stuff like that. Um, and this isn't that in depth. Um, it, I really don't exactly know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to kind of catch this up to this week and, and probably check some emails, just kind of... Okay, it's been a second. Um, so after I finished all of my like schoolwork stuff, um, I decided to get dressed and get ready because I need to go do a couple things. So we're going to go to Goodwill and we're going to drop some stuff off. And then we're going to the post office to drop some stuff off. And then we are going to Trader Joe's to pick some stuff up. And I think we're going to go to Hobby Lobby. But as I was walking out, I had two packages sitting on the doorstep. So I'm going to open them right here right now unboxing so i ordered stuff from actually from motel rocks a long time ago and i posted a little bit about it on my instagram but it was so bad like all none of the stuff fit but i totally forgot that i ordered this so we're gonna go through the okay this is cute I'm about to have a moment. So first, this is all from ASOS. ASOS, ASOS. And I'm pretty sure this is all on sale. Precious. <gasps> Look at that little high neck. Second piece, and it's like an olive green. That was like an olive green. I love, I love green. And then I got a little top, and it's like a tie front top. Mm -hmm. 